2018 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF Review It's unusually hot in western Washington. The early August sunbeams disguise rendered hazy by fires a few hundred miles to the north. If you're not moving, it gets a bit oppressive. Since there's just enough humidity to feel it and not enough wind to relieve it. Instead of huddling inside, window shades drawn fan blowing hot air around impotently, this is how most Washingtonians, 75% of whom don't have a C, handle the heat, we're taking our fan on the road. The best way to beat the heat, it turns out, is to climb into the forests. For this adventure and body temperature regulation, we've got a Mazda MX-5 RF. The Miata's semi-target topped variant, and a few hours of time. And the Cascade Mountains foothills, thickly coated with Douglas firs and, higher up, subalpine firs soaking up as much sun as they can in the short growing season. I've lived near the foothills nearly all my life. But there's a lot of the Cascades I haven't explored. One area is Chinook Pass, a mountain road that crests at 5,430 feet. Blooming almost 9,000 feet above it is Mount Rainier, so close you can almost touch it. Just about 100 feet below the summit is Tipsu Lake. Startlingly clear and sporting enough wildflowers to make the sound of music look like a movie. About Rommel's North Africa campaign. 2018 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF Specs But that's jumping ahead a bit. Between me and the summit is about 90 minutes of driving through the suburbs and into the Enumclaw Plateau and then along the Chalky White River and up into the mountains. Plenty of time to focus on nothing but the surroundings and the quality of the cooling action provided by the little Mazda a quick word about the car, and my own biases, I love Miatas. But I have a complicated relationship with the latest MX-5. Having owned a much more visceral, and much slower, first-gen car for about six years. On paper, it's this perfect modern interpretation of the original. It's light, it's a momentum machine, the steering's just a tad over-boosted and it has a playful amount of body roll while maintaining a healthy amount of mechanical grip. It looks aggressive enough too. A major complaint of many folks about the last-gen car's Joker smile. The interior is largely brilliant, amazingly simple and interesting for such a light car. And yet, I have never found the new car to be as charismatic as my old Miata. With all its flaws, this puts me in the minority. Most MX-5 fanatics find the ND to be a great compromise. Even some colleagues best known as anti-Miata partisans would put one in the driveway. 2018 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF The RF builds on a great framework with some extra style. Gone is the one-handed manual soft top and in its place is a complicated but effective Targa-like panel. The flying buttresses go up, the Targa panel folds away. The buttresses return sends rear window. If you don't check over your shoulders, the experience from the driver's seat is, to me, identical to a non-RF car. There's no unusual wind buffeting, plenty of airflow, decent views sideways and up. This was appreciated when the jagged Cowlett's chimney sod across the space between me and Rainier as I climbed the pass.